These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please do your own research and this is a platform for, for all of us to make comments. Now I've gotten a lot of flack because I posted an, an article about Prince Charles taking money from the Bin Laden family. I am fully aware that a family is not responsible for the actions of one family member. I am also fully aware that the Bin Laden family does a lot of good. But people should also be fully aware that it is not a good look for Prince Charles, who has been mired in a lot of scandals in relation to money. Now, many of you say, oh, it's perfectly normal to have a lot of money, like a million dollars or a million pounds of cash. No, it's not. Only drug lords do that who want to who wanna, um, launder money. World by worldwide banking laws state that any transaction about $10,000 has be, must be made through the bank's proper channels and disclose the origin of the funds. <clears throat> the fact that this has been done like quietly, shadily, passing millions of bucks. It's, it's not usual practice. So, and if, and you know what? People get angry because we're not supposed to be talking about Prince Charles, only Harry. No, this is a platform because I want the royal family, I want the monarchy to be respectable. The monarchy represents Canada. The head of state of Canada is, is the monarch. So I want the monarchy to be respected. I want the monarchy to be honest. Why would he need a million pounds in a, in a bag instead of proper banking, doing proper banking practices? And I don't care what you say, the Bidland family taking cash, you know, especially, and he was told by his aides, don't do it. If he's going to take cash from a family whose last name unfortunately is mired in controversy, do it legally. So everybody can see, okay, the Bin Laden family donated this amount of money by bank through the proper channels. So the fact that it's from the Bin Laden family, from in, a, in bags of cash, it does not bode well. And please put your hand on your heart. If this were Harry doing it, wouldn't we all be yelling, you know, off with his head right now? Of course we would. Of course we would. So the hypocrisy of it all is outstanding. You are entitled to your opinions, just like I am to mine. But taking bags of cash is standard practice for people who launder money. Otherwise, they do the banking route where they account for the money, the origins of the money, pay taxes on the money, declare the money, not in big wads of cash. Now, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. Um, apparently, Omid Scoby is going to do a book with really good inside information. We all know where he gets his information. Is this really a shocker? Oh, he's going to have information given to him by really reliable sources. If his reliable sources are Meghan Markle, he's going to get sued. He was lucky. I mean... He got lucky that the one being sued right now is Meghan Markle and not and not um, and not him. Although if I were if I were Samantha Markle, I would sue his ass. But then again, he was just writing what his sources told him. But he still has a, a legal li uh, he's liable for things that he publishes that way. Um, but if he's blaming his sources for it, if this is according to sources and the sources have been named then that's defamatory of Meghan Markle. So I wish him luck in the second book. I guess he hasn't learned his lesson from the first book, that everybody called him out a liar. Everybody knows it's a lie. Everything in that book is a lie, just like anything that Meghan Markle says. Now, many people have come out and said, why, oh, hey, everybody, it's going to be a bombshell, Harry, with the book, and what is he going to reveal? The better question would be, what is he going to lie about now? Because everything that Harry and Meghan say are lies, lies. And I, I'm not going to say fantasy. They are lies, calculated lies. And these are all my thoughts and opinions. But they have also been proven public liars. So instead of saying, what is he going to reveal now? 
what can a 12 year old reveal? Because the only thing valuable of him is anything leading up to his mother's death. After that, you know, maybe, and after that he was even more spoiled. Now I have something, you know, that's been bothering me because people say, oh, Meghan Markle, I dislike Meghan Markle deeply, as you all know. Not Meghan Markle, I dislike the fact that Meghan Markle is using a royal title to do all the crazy things she's doing worldwide. You know, basically she's denigrating, cheapening the monarchy's reputation. But it's not that Meghan Markle came in and exposed or made Harry behave in a certain way, no. The palace completely control the damage control for all of Harry's nastiness. They managed, I mean, and it took a lot of effort from what I heard because it was a, a, an around the clock job to keep Harry's image clean. What Meghan Markle did was say to Harry, you know what, it's great how you are. Nobody needs to cover up for you because everything you do, it's okay, you're allowed to do. And now he doesn't have the PR machine covering up all his stupidity, all his nastiness, CD, all his bullying. So, CD, sorry, CD. So, so we, CD, sorry guys, CD, no. So, so, so we have that now, you know, uh, and that's what's happened. It's not that, it's not that Meghan Markle. Uh, it's not that Harry suddenly became this guy. It's just that he, it's just that he, it's just that he doesn't have the PR machine of Buckingham Palace covering up for him, silencing people, asking people not to publish those things. So well, I mean, what do you guys think? Please leave a comment. Please leave, leave your comments. So and I want to talk a little bit about this this thing about Harry getting citizenship giving up his citizenship over Meghan Markle. And there's a lot of people saying, oh, he will never lose his HRH. He already lost it. He can't use it. And yes, you can become not royal anymore. And if he becomes a U.S. citizen, and that will take years, by the way. People think that Harry's going to say, okay, I'm going to become a U.S. citizen now. No, it doesn't work that way. He has to become a, res a full-time resident for a, quite a number of years. And after that, he has to you know, qualified to get, um, he has to get, he can apply for citizenship. But it, we're looking down at least five, six years. By that time, they will have done a lot of damage to the brand. Right now, they're broke. They don't have that much money. And yes, you know, it is, it is a shame that people are still using the racism card for anybody who criticizes Meghan Markle. Now, Rachel Meghan Markle, to me, and you know, they're still saying Hollywood actress. She never made it in Hollywood. She's, an, she's a cable actress, cable TV actress. She's not a Hollywood actress. She never made it in Hollywood. Um, she's an actress, a D-list, very bad actress. So, so I don't understand why people are still saying that she's an actress, a Hollywood actress, and, and so forth. But please leave me your comments. By the way, you better, you're going to love P. Dinah's upcoming videos. Um, please stay tuned for her videos because they are amazing. Uh, they they're all are. I mean, I love her. You guys know I'm a big fan of hers. So, but the videos upcoming are going to be pretty cool. And you're going to see why when she publishes them. So have a lovely Sunday. Leave me your comments. Do you think Prince Charles was right to take big bags of cash? from the Bin Laden family in that manner. Or if he had taken the, the, the donations, should he have gone the proper route by wire transfer, acknowledging the money publicly? The fact that everything is done hidden in wads of cash is the problem for me. What do you guys think? Do you think that Meghan Markle turned Harry into this person? Or was it that Buckingham Palace had a full-time job covering up for his ginger ass? And number three is, was Meghan Markle a Hollywood actress or was she a D-lister? Please let me know.